Kenya's darkest hour. Past none would like to relive. A situation that gave rise to about 6,098 post-election violence cases being reported to the police department. And one that to this day has left a devastating aftermath. Today, justice is still being sought for the victims, what has led to the formation of a multi-agency task force by the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions. In an exclusive interview with Citizen Television, Director of Public Prosecutions, Keriako Tobiko, sought to clarify the main purpose of the task force, making clear that it was not intended to reopen the cases, but rather to fast-track the process. So it's important to bring these cases to a closure so that we do not transit this sad legacy into the next uh, period after the uh, next general election. In assisting the police, Tobiko says there are two possible outcomes. The first one being that the task force could find that there was enough evidence in the files, in which case the team will recommend to his office for the cases to proceed to trial. The other scenario would then be... If after this thorough investigation, no actionable evidence is disclosed, then this team should recommend to the Director of Public Prosecution for formal closure of this file. So far, 500 cases have been prosecuted in court, where 130 resulted in acquittals and 258 resulted in convictions. The rest were dismissed for lack of sufficient evidence and on account of other reasons. The DPP, however, says that even as the ICC continues with the determination of its cases involving the four Kenyans who have since been committed to trial at The Hague, it was integral that Kenyans adopt and support a local mechanism. The Chief Justice can easily, uh, can easily, if there are files ready for prosecution, can easily do what the Chief Justice did in Uganda, setting up a specialized division of the High Court while seeking to dispel the notion that the task force was being used as a witch hunt against individuals or that it was vulnerable to political whims. That delivery of justice and punishment of the perpetrators okay, does not destroy the country and promote uh, peace and unity for this country. <laughs> That the issue of the post-election violence is a sensitive one in the country is a fact that the DPP says his office is alive to. But he is also calling for tolerance, patience and peace during this time, dispelling talk that the cases pose the danger of stoking renewed tension in the country. Prosecution is good. It's important in order to achieve justice to the victims. But it cannot be a, a magic bullet. We still need to engage other, other complementary processes. The situation may be dicey, but the Office of Public Prosecution is confident that the strides toward justice for the post-election violence victims are strides towards closure and strides that will facilitate reconciliation and enhance justice. Willis Raburu, Citizen Alive at 9, Nairobi.